All right, Lisa, what the, what are we doing? Making some homemade tomato gravy. Homemade tomato gravy, there you go. All right, what we got is a can of diced tomatoes, one and a third cups of chicken broth. How much flour was it? Three, three, ta tablespoons. three tablespoons of all purpose? All purpose. All purpose. All right, a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of pepper. And I fried some bacon while ago, so we're using bacon. Oh, the drippings off of it to make it, and I think it's like three tablespoons. I mean, you know, you can you can play that by ear. But this is uh, this is how we fixing to do it right here. Go ahead, Lisa. You want your uh, all right? She's gonna put uh, what we're gonna do is is we're gonna brown that flour right there, just like you would if you was making gravy. Now this right here, if y'all have never tried it, let me tell you, this right here is the best stuff in the world. You can pour this over biscuits, you can pour it over grits, you can pour it over scrambled eggs, oh, whatever. It is really good. Now you tell me when, Lisa. All right, she's got that in there. Now you can use, on this chicken broth, you can you can substitute milk or you can substitute uh, water. I think, I mean, you can you can use what you got, but uh, we're gonna try this chicken broth right here. Y'all tell her to be easy on that pan now. We don't wanna scratch it up. <laughs> Just get a new one. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's been a good one though, you know what? Most of the ones that are Teflon coated or whatever they call that stuff, they don't last, but this particular little pan right here's been a good one. What you thinking, babe? Getting close? Yeah. Now this is, uh, you know, this is supposed, you know, supposed to take like 15 minutes, so. Anyway, now, we got one and a third cups of Uh-huh. All right. All right, now. There you go. One can of diced tomatoes. And how long you gotta wait before you do that? Yes, I'm just making sure it's all Look at that making a gravy right there. Woo, woo. Mm, let me tell you something. Y'all just don't know. It may be simple, but let me tell you, this stuff right here is so good. Mm, look at that. All right, here is a half a cup of, uh, I mean, half a teaspoon of sugar, uh, salt, and, and salt a half a teaspoon. Yeah, I'm gonna get it in a minute. <laughs> salt yeah. and half a teaspoon of each. Yeah. All right. And how long are you gonna let that cook like that? About five minutes just till it gets thick. Okay, cool. Uh oh, what about this? Ooh, look here, I see. We cheated on this right here, so. Running short on time this morning. Yeah, we running short on time, so we cheated on that a little bit down here. We didn't use, so uh, we didn't make homemade. But, look at that right there. That's what a half a stick of butter will do to a thing of, of uh, grand biscuits right there. Mm. No, it wasn't a half a stick. I put the whole stick in there, I think. Yeah, whole stick. Anyway, we got that. And look up here, we got some, we got some bacon. And we got some smoked sausage right here. I mean, we fixed to have a good breakfast this morning, y'all. Look at that right there. All right, in just a minute. How are you looking over here, babe? Just a little bit more right there. You're a little bit thicker. Yep. I said 15 minutes, baby. You have done this, and this is uh, four minutes and 21 seconds so far. So, hey, girl, you are on fire, baby. On fire. All right, I'm going to set this up right here while she's doing this. And then I... Hey, y'all just bear with us. I know this is rough. Just bear with us on this. Right there. Ooh, look at that. Not homemade, I know. 
Hannah will be down here in a minute. I know she smells it cooking already. Tell you what, they do look good, though. They ain't homemade, baby, but they'll work. She made uh, chicken, and, chicken and dumplings yesterday for uh, Christmas dinner. Well, that was part of it. I mean, we had a whole bunch of stuff, but uh, she had bought her some of these biscuits, these grand biscuits, in case we needed more dumplings and we didn't have enough or whatever. But we homemade the dumplings. We need to do a video on that, too. It was really, really good. Really good. I think I want two biscuits. Like I said, Hannah will be down here in a minute. Hope everybody had an awesome Christmas. I know we did. I think I ate too much, but... Uh, yeah, that's part of it. Yeah. Let me see if you got another big stuff there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we can dip with that or not. I don't want to try. Ooh, that looks good. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, we, we're thinking about doing, if I can talk the wife into it, we're thinking about doing an outdoor kitchen, and then that way we can actually do this outside when it's not freezing or burning up or whatever, you know, burning hot. I like it, Lisa. Show them what it looks like. Let me make sure you can see that. All right, y'all see that right there? I know it's simple, but you have got to try it. Let me put that over that biscuit right there. And that's the way you do it. Now, like I said, you can put this over scrambled eggs. You can put it over whatever you want. Grits, it's even good on grits. Just that fast, y'all. Just that fast. And then we got some... Some link sausage right there. Yeah, see, I don't got serious about it. I ain't worried about the video no more. I'm thinking about eating. Lisa, yours is right there. You want me to fix it before we go? All right, let's try it. Make sure. Make sure. I might need a little bit more gravy right there. Huh? Yeah, maybe just a touch. Thank you, baby. Mm-hmm. If you like tomatoes, y'all, you have got to try this right here. Lisa, you better go, baby. I'll let her roll. Uh... It ain't too bad hot. What you think? It's good. It's good. Hey, y'all. Y'all give it a try. It's quick. It's fast. It's simple. It's, you know, it's the only way to go. Hey. Hope y'all had a wonderful Christmas. Have an awesome new year. We appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all.